Hi Pisces, welcome to your new week. I hope you guys are doing good. We're covering September 16th to the 22nd and we're going to look into your health, career work finances, and love, romance, dating, or relationships. And before we get into those areas of life, I'm going to get a emotion that you could be experiencing and needing to release and let go of during and for this full moon lunar eclipse in Pisces this week on the 17th and also getting a mermaid oracle card as we go through so many intense energy this week and we're transitioning out of Virgo into Libra season at the end of the week to kind of give us a little more guidance or to start off this reading and I did already post the weekly astrological energies video so make sure you go watch that before watching this it is a little bit lengthy like 25 minutes long but I did have to cover a lot so it's important that we kind of know what's going on in the sky and get a better feel for what's going on as we go into the week all right, and then I'll have the link to the extended reading below in the description box if you're interested afterwards as a part two and a continuation. All right, so let's get started. So for all my Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and or Venus, what is their emotion that they may be experiencing going through a need to release and let go of with this eclipse? And of course, since it's in Pisces, you guys, us, will be probably feeling it the most. Especially if you have any planets um, near 25 degrees in Pisces. All right, so you guys got creative, imaginative, inventive, expressive. All right, so Pisces, with this full moon lunar eclipse, it's not saying that, oh, you need to like stop being creative and you need to just be boring and, uh, you know, do other mundane tasks. But I think it's more so like the need to feel like you always need to be creative or you always need to be using your imagination or expressing or inventing something. Um, you don't always need that to be doing something. Sometimes just the action itself and you know, taking actions moving forward is what gives you that creative spark. But if you're not doing too much and you're too, you're, that creates more actually like blockages or like writer's block by feeling like, oh, I need to be creative. I need to use my imagination. Sometimes you just got to go through the motions and then the creativity will, you know, will hit you and it'll just come out naturally and organically. So um, during this time, uh, try to release any maybe kind of negative emotions that you have about your creativity or maybe even feeling like you're not creative enough or that it's I need to do more or this is not um, you know I'm not using imagination the way I need to so you got to let that go and just go through the motions just take action and as you go through life that creativity the imaginations will just flow through you organically so don't wait or don't wait to be or feel creative, just do things and the creativity will come to you as you go through the motions. Does that make sense? Hopefully that makes sense. Like thinking too much about, oh, it needs to be like this, it needs to be like that. No, just do it. Just go through the motions, have fun with it. And when you're just in your energy and flowing, that's when everything just comes to you. But when you're like forcing it too much and you feel like it has to come in this at this moment at this time or in this way that's what blocks you and that stops your imagination your creativity okay all right so let's see what is your mermaid oracle message for all my pisces for this week anything you need to know that will help nice all right, so we got card number 30. So 30 or the number three could be significant or mean something to you. And it's telep uh, tele I can't speak, telepathy, tele telepathy. Wow, I don't know why I can't say that because, but you know what I'm trying to say, Te telepathy. <laughs> Nonverbal communication, energetic pulses, mind reading. Nonverbal communication, energetic pulses, mind reading. Okay, so I think this is a week and during this time, it's gonna be really important that you actually pay attention to your intuition and you realize that maybe you are able to communicate in this non-verbal way with people, places, things around you and receive messages that maybe sometimes you don't always understand right then and there in the moment, but later it does make sense. So be sensitive to the senses, pay attention to things that happen, messages, signs, synchronicities, um, and just know that those 
that energy you feel or that you know sometimes you just get this random thought and you're like whoa where did that come from sometimes that is a message and sometimes that is trying to warn you or help you or guide you um, and some of you you may have some telepathic communication between you and someone else and you got to like trust in that and trust in yourself and know that you're being guided or that's like your own soul your inner your inner you know guidance guiding you at this time okay all right so let's see what's going on when it comes to your health body mind soul spirit this week you guys got the ten of crystals really nice so pisces i feel like something's coming into full circle you may be feeling really strong actually this week feeling really empowered and physically it looks like you're getting stronger maybe you've been taking better care of yourself or you're really you know uh, investing into your health, whether that it's in, with food, vitamins, supplements, workouts, creating a great environment that you can thrive in, that you can get healthier in, but it looks like your health is doing really well and you may be feeling like really abundant when it comes to your health and really proud of where you are compared to maybe in the past. And so it feels like whatever you're doing right now, I would say keep doing it and continue to stay consistent because you will see results. And maybe you're seeing the results of your hard work. You're seeing all, everything that ha everything has paid off and now you're in a much better place with your health. So if you were struggling or if you were injured or wounded or anything like that, I do see that your health is gonna dramatically improve and you're gonna be in a much better place, especially if you just continue doing what you're doing and it's working for you. Nice. All right. Now, when it comes to your work, school, career, and finances, you guys got the page of wands. So this week, um, when it comes to this area of life, you may be dealing with a younger fire sign, Aries Leo Sagittarius, um, and may receive a message, maybe a fun and exciting project or some, some, something that they want to run by you or do with you or suggest to you, or this can be your energy where you're getting excited, getting more passionate, um, and fired up and inspired, motivated to maybe try something new or put yourself out there or express yourself in a different way or you want to express your creativity or you want to try something new and you may be at the beginning stages of it. Maybe you haven't, you know, dipped your toes in it too much, but now you want to start and you're getting connected or you're starting to get more confidence in expressing yourself in this way. So I feel like you're, you could be starting to feel a little more creative, imaginative, um, and maybe even getting inspired through someone else who sends you a message or just acknowledges your efforts and maybe suggest, hey, I got something we can work on together. I got an idea for you. Or you may feel like you, you have new ideas, uh, you have new goals, um, and you may be wanting to talk about this or express it more than usual. Okay? Nice. Now, when it comes to your love, romance, dating, or relationships on your side, you guys got perspective. So this is your energies, the universe, and the ace of wands. So some of you could be like double Pisces. Maybe you're a Pisces sun, Pisces moon, or rising, something like that. Um, or you could also have fire in your chart like Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Then on this other side for this other person, uh, this can be um, someone you're dealing with right now or you will be dealing with at some point. This is their energies. So we got here seven of wands, queen of... Uh, Queen of Swords and the Two of Swords. Oops, something, a card fell. All right, so as far as who you could be dealing with, this person could be a uh, air sign, of course, Virgemini, Gemini, or also fire, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and or Venus. But it doesn't have to be, could be any sign like I always say to you guys, could just be energy this person's embodying, playing out, or maybe be like a mixed match of one of those. So what's going on here? I feel like you're becoming more open or open-minded about new exciting possibilities um, in your life and about your future. And you're, it's like you, they're starting, there's this like little creep of uh, fire, this like little small fire right now that's starting to flame, that's starting to light up and get warmer and warmer inside of you. And it's like you're coming out of something, you're coming out of your shell or you're starting to um, see things that are you didn't realize were possible. Maybe now they seem more possible for you. Um, and you're ready to maybe express yourself in a new way. And it feels like here you're gonna be initiating some kind of opportunity for a new beginning. The only thing is though, this person, whoever they are, they may be feeling frustrated or 
conflicted with your approach to things and they may not be fully convinced or uh, I guess just like a little bit frustrated with you because they don't understand maybe your way of thinking or why you're feeling this way or why you're doing this um, and they're hearing you out they're receiving you know saying hearing what you're saying and stuff but they may feel kind of like in limbo or conflicted and not know if they're fully on board or not and kind of indecisive so at the beginning of the week, um, maybe this person's a little bit frustrated, frustrated with you because they feel like uh, either you're not communicating as much with them or uh, they feel like they got to fight to get things out of you and you're not, you know, being direct with them because it looks like you're kind of just in your own emotion and your own energy and you're kind of thinking things out. You're feeling things out, but you're not really taking any action or doing anything or being... Um, as straightforward with them and that's probably what's frustrating them and uh, because they want that direct communication but maybe you're like no I can't right now I'm dealing with some things or you're trying to understand your energies or just doing Pisces things and in the middle of the week I feel like you're bringing things into full circle and you're wanting to think bigger you're like I want to think bigger I want to um, manifest more or I want my life to I don't want to think small I don't want to live small anymore I'm ready to think big I'm ready to have more and um, it's like you're you're pulling from outside energy and connecting the dots and uh, putting putting all these pieces together um, and this person's listening or they want to know what you're what you're thinking or how you're coming to these conclusions but I feel like it's a very really, like personal internal like thing that you're doing right now or at this time and there may be distance between the two of you so maybe you guys live in different places or come from different backgrounds race ethnicity religion languages um, or you met online social media dating apps stuff like that and so they need that communication maybe from you but your uh maybe your way of going about it sometimes they like feel like it's not direct enough and so you're being maybe a little indirect but maybe with unintentionally by the end of the week though and maybe you want to travel or maybe you're suggesting that i want to travel or i want to go here let's do this um by the end of the week you want you're taking action and you're expressing yourself in a new way and you want this new beginning or you're open to the possibilities for some kind of new beginning of passion excitement fun but whatever it is that you're sharing this person is feeling kind of conflicted or indecisive and like mm, not sure whether they are like fully supporting on board or fully against they're kind of in limbo in the middle and it could just be because they're not uh they feel like they don't understand why you're thinking that way or what you how you came to that conclusion or what's making you driving you uh, or pushing you in that direction and so i feel like they they need more communication from you pisces or you need to somehow like piece it all together with them and not apart from them so they know where your mind is at and how you're coming to that um to that outcome if that makes sense because i know as a pisces sometimes we think about things and in our head it all makes sense right but then when we like verbalize it or speak about it other people are like what <laughs> and my mercury's in pisces so i feel like i deal with that all the time <laughs> but anyways let's continue on and extended to get more information to see where their energy is at what are they thinking what are they feeling when it comes to you what they don't want you to know that maybe you should know and what their next action or move will be towards you and then follow it up with your advice at the end okay and see how we can better communicate with each other and maybe how they're thinking about you at this time all right so we'll continue on with extended link will be below i'll see you guys there and i'll see you for your next reading all right take care bye